Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. Welcome back to Only One Command. Minecraft Bros. So serious uh, cool mods and stuff. Only takes one command to add to your world. Custom creations. Pretty sweet. Today, we're doing a really, really cool one. Check out what I built. Isn't this nice looking? You know, it's pretty nice looking. Got a little, got a little ship. Boy, I wish, uh... Wish there was a way to like, you know, fly this. <laughs> I wish there was just some way to fly this thing. Perhaps it only would take, oh, I don't know. One command to do it! Oh my god, flying ships! Look! Actually moving! We're moving right now. We're actually moving. I present to you, Mr. Goretto, with only one command, has created Archimedes ships. Flying ships that you can build yourself! and actually fly around with using only one command. It's it's honestly, it's insanity. I'm gonna show you the different building supplies you can make with your ships, you can make your ships with rather, as well as everything you're gonna need to get this baby floating off the ground and all the controls involved in making it. Check it out, your ship, due to a suggestion by me, yours truly decided, you know, your ship probably needs some storage space. So, now it didn't. It didn't like 20 minutes ago, but me and Mr. Gretto, we're on the same page, baby. I added, I made him change it to mules. I don't really know anything. I'm talentless, but I, I know how to suggest things. Either way, we're going to get into this right now. I hope you enjoy this Only One Command. If you do and you want to see more Only One Command on the channel, then thank you so much for dropping a like rating on the video. If we can get 2,000 likes for this awesome thing. I don't think that's too much to add. You got flying ships, man. Look, it flies. It's currently anchored to the ground right now. That's what that means. So uh, thanks for leaving a like on the video. Thanks for subscribing for future Minecraft videos, including more Only One Command as I bring them to the channel. And uh, without further ado, you're going to need a couple things before you begin, my friends. First of all, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this thing. And you can see over there, oh, there goes the anchor. He's gone. Now, what you're going to need to grab yourself a command block, which you can give yourself by doing slash give at PCOMM. Press tab, press enter on your keyboard. You get a command block by doing just that. Also, grab yourself a redstone block. And then finally... Find the command in the description of this video by going to, that is the wrong command, <laughs> sorry about that, by going to the link in the description of my video that leads you to Mr. Goretto's channel, and you'll be able to find the command in that description. So, once you've added all that in, go ahead and put the redstone block down next to that, and you can see, we're back anchored again, and you now have Archimedes Airships, created by Mr. Goretto, you can right click the sign to get rid of it. Now. There are a couple limitations you need to keep in mind when you're making your airships, and we'll cover them right now. So, there are a couple limitations involved before you build your ship that you need to know about, otherwise it's not gonna work. So we're gonna cover those right now. First and foremost, your ship must fall within a 9 this way, by 9 this way, these are blocks I'm talking about, by 8 up and down. It's got to be 9 by 9 by 8. That is what's going to allow the command blocks to pick up the fact that you want to turn this baby into a ship. In addition, this is like the ship control panel block, which we're going to cover in further detail in just a little bit, but it pretty much needs to be centered in the center of your ship, and not only that, but there are a couple limitations involved with this guy as well. You can have up to 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 on either side of the ship. So for example, even if even if your ship was let's say even if your ship was 7 blocks tall or 7 blocks wide or what have you. If you placed your like control panel right here, you'd notice 1 2 3 4 I mean, no, okay, it's 5. It wouldn't work there. It's got to basically be right in the center of your ship. Basically, command thing can be four to the left, can be four to the right, can be four above, can be three below. Has to be three below. If it's not three below, or if it's more than three below, rather, it ain't gonna work. So, once you've built within those limitations, you'll also need to know that there are only specific items you can create your ship out of. That is the oak wood planks, the regular stupid old wool, oak fences, and ladders. That is what you have to keep your ship made out of. <laughs> Sorry, I like banging on things. If you build it with anything else, it's not going to work. I'll give you an example, but not yet. Once you've built your ship, you'll be ready to place down your ship control panel. Now, in order to get yourself a ship control panel, it's very simple. You're going to need to grab yourself a regular old piston 
And then you're also going to need to grab yourself an iron block. Drop those suckers on the ground. Bada boom, bada bing. You'll get yourself a ship control panel. So, very inexpensive recipe, which makes it fun. It's fun to have airships that don't cost you an arm and a leg. You know what I mean? So, once you've got your ship assembled nice and neat, just like this, uh, make sure it's centered. So, you got the four, right? One, two, three. You got the four, right? Place the control panel on the top here. You don't have to have it kind of in the air like this, but I I need it that way because it's gonna allow everything in this area to work. Now, in order to break the control panel, you need to break the block underneath it. If you try and break the block above it, it's gonna cause a bunch of problems, so just don't do that, okay? The item frames are like analyzing the zone in which the ship works, and once you've built your ship, ladders and all, you're good to start it. Now we're gonna go into game mode zero just so you can see that this is gonna work even in game mode zero. You right click your iron block and you are now in the ship. You have some ship controls here. You can ascend, which will bring you about a block up and you can basically spam this thing. You can see, here, let me, let me get into F3. You can see right now, boom, boom. We are slowly, ever so slowly rising 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 we keep rising you can go up to block limit essentially would not recommend you do that you might mess up your ship if you do that you can of course descend as well which will make you go down blocks now it can be a little bit delayed laggy this and that whatever you want to call it so just give it some time to think unless you got a really good computer like me my computer's pretty good i'm just saying i'm allocating 16 gigs to my computer alone that's more than my old computer even had or you can unanchor the ship now unanchoring the ship is what's going to allow you to actually fly it around now whatever direction you look this is the direction that your ship is going to go now this ship doesn't necessarily make sense because because <laughs> the, the head of the ship is this way and oh wow look at this no no you can go diagonal wow you can go diagonal too that's something or you can go forward or i believe yeah, you can go back. You, you can basically go all directions. But if you want to go up and down, you have to go ahead and first drop anchor. So you drop anchor. This will allow your ship to stop moving. It will place all the blocks back into like real block mode pretty much. See, they're real blocks now. So keep that in mind. Actually, it doesn't do that. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm the worst guy. Whatever. In order to get your blocks to stop, to start being real blocks again, you literally get off of your little, your friend here. You see? You dismount. See, whatever key it is to get off your horse or whatever it is normally, press that button. It's going to turn everything into real blocks. Right click to get back on and you're ready to ascend, descend, anchor, and unanchor. Currently, we are anchored. And when you're anchored, it means your ship ain't going nowhere, baby. And you'll have this little particle effect to let you know that you are, in fact, anchored. And it goes down pretty dang far. It does go down. Now, the moment you are not anchored and you're actually free to move around, this baby will disappear. So that's good. And uh, I mean, that's that's essentially the whole ship building process. Now, really, it's just a matter of preference as to what kind of ship you want to make. Again, when you are disabling this, click this thing under the control panel. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now we're going to show you an example of what happens if your ship is just too dang big. So I'm currently at my limit right now. This little tail I gave it, my ship's got a nice little tail. Kind of looks like a stingray. None of these guys are going to stick around because they are without, they're outside rather. The scan limit, watch. We're going to place this down right now. Look. Did I, oh, that's that. <laughs> that's a piece of wool. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that was cool. Saw a bunch of torches. Interesting. We're going to ride the ship now. And the first thing you're going to notice is, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, check it out. <laughs> we lost part of our ship. It's not joining us over there. In fact, it looks like it took a chunk of our pre-existing ship. This is the thing that's gonna happen should you decide to start messing around. Things start to get a little bit nasty. See, like parts of my ship are gone. They're disappearing. Okay, well, part whoa. Whoa, literally took a bite out of my ship. <laughs> just, just build within your nine by nine by eight okay otherwise craziness like this is gonna happen nobody wants that to happen why would you want that to happen alternatively like i said oh didn't mean to do that worst guy 
Oh, and then uh, here, here's here's actually a good point I wanted to bring up. Let's say something does happen to your ship, and you're like, oh, okay, I'll just rebuild it because I have so much wood because I'm the king of the trees. Well, it doesn't work that way. You'll notice when you get back into your ship, well, check it out. Looks like, well, okay, hold on. Let's move a little bit. If well, well, when we move a little bit, you'll know I'm okay. So we gotta move a little bit. All right, so we've moved a little bit. First thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is guess what? The blocks that you just placed again didn't stick around. Why is that? Well, I don't know why, but all I do know is how to avoid doing that. And that is quite simple. When it is time for you to rebuild your ship, because you messed up, like I told you you would, first thing you gotta do is reset the control panel. It's as simple as, again, breaking the block underneath it, placing it back on, just like that. Your ship is now ready, working, and is not gonna fall apart on you. You can see, we're gonna get back to moving here. All our dear block friends, they're sticking with us. It's good. So, covering. Only use these blocks. I I'd show you what it looks like using a different block. You just gotta take my word on it. Only these blocks will work, so only use these blocks. Only build within a nine by nine by eight. Have your control panel right in the center there. And if you break something, break this. Oop. I said, if you break something, break this. So you get your control panel back, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's called the control panel. Place it back again. <laughs> Witness a horse temporarily appearing. Your ship will be, once again, good to go. Now, you technically don't need to make like a crazy looking ship or anything. You could have a simple flying platform. Boom. You see this? Watch. This is going to be funny. <laughs> We're going to fly around the worst piece of junk. Honestly, this is too big. <laughs> I just, I'm just trying to make a point here. This is literally all you need. I, I keep placing the wool. All right, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Look, you ready? <laughs> We're not flying. The other thing I'd recommend you do is make sure you're building on flat land and build on blocks you don't necessarily care about, such as grass, because you'll notice we did kind of take a chunk out of the land. It's, it's not a big deal, really. It's, <laughs> but we're literally just on a flying wooden platform. It doesn't matter if you actually have wool blocks. You don't need to add fences. You don't need to add ladders. You know, I'm curious. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very curious. I just want to see what happens <laughs> if I do this. <laughs> uh, all right, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. On anchor. <laughs> ships ahoy yo this is funny this is our ship all right guys well that's gonna do it for the archimedes ships only one command once again by mr Goretto. i encourage you to build some awesome airships and fly them around your minecraft 1.8 world no mods required literally no mod required just a single command block for you to enjoy and add to your world links everything you need is gonna be in the description of the below of the below <laughs> in the description of this video thanks so much for leaving a like rating on the video like i said we break 2000 likes for this awesome only one command that would be sweet i'm just saying you'd be the best of course that being said make sure you subscribe for future minecraft only one commands and other minecraft content as it comes to the channel thanks so much for watching we about to board this ship and steal all that booty <laughs> see you later